morning, everyone. Welcome to St. Martin's this morning. My name is Stephen. It's great to have you with us here today. For the last couple of weeks, we've been looking at the book of 1 Thessalonians. This is the book written by uh, the Apostle Paul to the church in Thessalonica. We've heard about how Paul longs to be a good example, how he cares for the people in the church like they were his own family, and how he longs to see them so much to tell them about Jesus more and more. Well, this week, we're going to be hearing from chapter 4 of this book, and we're going to be thinking about what it means to be people made holy for God. I'm going to be reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, uh, verse 7. I've got it here, and it says this. For God did not call us to be impure, but to live a holy life. Now, holy, I best understand it as being perfectly clean. Now, cleanliness is certainly on my mind at the moment. I'm sure it's on yours as well. At my work, we've got posters everywhere. Be clean, be clean. Wash your hands, wear a mask. Uh, cough into your elbow, be clean. <laughs> but that's not the cleanliness that Paul is talking about. See, Paul is talking about being clean before an almighty God. Our Almighty God, our Saviour God. And we can be holy because of what Jesus has done. So then, what does it mean to be a people called to be holy for God? Well, that is what Nate is going to be talking to us about today. And remember, we can be holy because of Jesus. So how about we start today by singing a song together before the throne of God above. <laughs> 